It's tax season and today we're going to talk uncommon tax deductibles that you can write off that you may not know about to get you some more money back from the government. Hey friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and today we're going to talk taxes. I know taxes are not fun. I know we don't want to give the government more money, but there are some hacks, some things that you can do legally that can give you a bigger tax return. So I am all about getting as much money back from everything as we can. And part of that is taxes. And like I said, we have to pay taxes, but I want to pay as least amount of taxes as possible. So before we get into it, I do have to say disclaimer, disclaimer that this is taxes and tax deductibles and tax write-offs for this year. And it can change year over year. It can change at a blink of a hat. So make sure that you're looking at the IRS website as well as talking to your tax advisor because they're going to be able to give you the best advice for your situation. So do your research, do your due diligence, make sure that you are following all of the rules and just using this as a guideline and giving you some ideas some aha ooh, that would save me some money ideas the first one is to open an IRA or an HSA this is a really great way to lower your taxable income so that you're in return paying less on your taxes when it comes to tax season so if you are getting ready to file and you've done all the paperwork and everything and it's still well before April 15th or even up until April 14th and you realize that holy crap I'm gonna have to pay a lot of money this year you can open an IRA or an HSA and that's gonna help lower your taxable income. So what you can do is go to M1 Finance, you can open up an IRA there. I also have a video on HSA versus FSA and what they both mean. So go check that out. All that will be down below in the description box and you can use that to lower your taxable income, which is awesome, while you're still saving for retirement and investing in your future, paying medical bills, all of that, which is really, really cool and a great way to lower that taxable income. Also check out the description box in all of my videos I have a lot of different blog posts and videos that are related or even sometimes I do have affiliate links which do give me a little bit of kickback in return you can help support the channel but they're also great discounted products or discounted items or things like M1 Finance where you can open up a brokerage account or IRA different things like that so go check out the description box of this video and all of my videos and I do have a blog post on this as well which is going to go into even more detail and break it down so if you're more of a visual or a reader you can go check that out or for future reference as well. The next tip is a new mortgage or refinance in the points that you can deduct. So if you guys don't know, we bought a house last year. And so this year we're able to write off a ton of stuff from that house. We're able to write off our taxes. We're able to write off the points that we did to buy down the mortgage rate. Those we can write off. And if you refinanced your house last year, you can write off that refinance those points origination points so what you can do is it goes throughout the entire life of the mortgage you can write off 1 30th of those origination points so what that would equal is 33 dollars for every thousand dollars that you refinance now that may not seem like a lot of money but hey i'll take an extra 33 dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money but don't leave any money on the table this next one is a cool one so we all know that charitable giving you know if we're giving money to salvation army or religious organizations whatever it may be that we we can write that off. But did you know that if you're donating casseroles or cakes or food to a soup kitchen or anything like that, you can actually write off the ingredients and the mileage. So say you're bringing lasagnas to a big church function. You can go to the grocery store, save the receipts for those ingredients for it. And then you can also write off the mileage to the grocery store, to the event, you can write those off. So if you're doing that stuff on a regular basis, that's gonna be a huge write off. So make sure you keep your receipts, keep track of your mileage, I use Excel just to keep track of everything or there's an awesome app new hurdler that does great things like that as well to keep track of all of those for you. If you're finding value in this, I would love for you to hit the like button. It really shows YouTube algorithm that you enjoy these videos and pushes them out. Also subscribe if this is something that you want to get more videos like this. I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. Next is moving for a new job. So if you moved more than 50 miles for a new job, then you can actually deduct the mileage. And if you moved for the military, you can deduct the mileage plus any moving expenses that you may have. So that is a great, huge tax write off that we can do to support our military. And so if you are a military veteran, thank you. And you can deduct a little bit more than the rest of us civilians. Next up is childcare services. So if you have children in daycare, it's very common knowledge that you can deduct your daycare costs. 
But did you know that you can also do summer camps and sports camps throughout the summer and holiday breaks and deduct that as well if both parents are working. So on those breaks or different things like that, if both parents are working, now this does not count for sleepover camps like overnight camps, but day camps, that would count as childcare because rather than being in school or whatever it may be with daycare, that's now counting as your daycare. So, which is a really cool way to really, you know, get some money back, especially if you have children and those summer camps are expensive as enough. So you can deduct that. And also look into an FSA because an FSA you can also use to pay for your childcare costs, which is gonna give you even more tax deductions and tax credits, pre-tax dollars, which is gonna save you a lot of money, guys. FSAs, HSAs, all of those, they save so much money over time and you're not having to pay taxes on it. and then you get the tax break as well with the childcare deductions. Did you make any energy saving upgrades to your home? We are looking at buying impact windows for our house this year. So next year, we're able to deduct those. So what you can do is deduct up to $500 depending on the item. There's a whole list on the IRS website and that could include solar panels, energy saving windows like we're gonna do, energy saving appliances, solar panels. There's so many different things that you can do. So up to $500 per year for this year. And then also if you have a smart car, you can get tax credits for that as well. So it all depends on the vehicle and everything, but you can get anywhere from $2,500 to $7,500 credit for having a smart vehicle and electric vehicle, which is so cool, which gives Jamie even more incentive to want to buy a Tesla, which is why we are saving for one. <laughs> this next one may be one that you are honestly shocked about, and that is sales tax. Did you know that you can deduct up to $5,000 worth of sales tax that you're already paying on your regular purchases? So most people, if they do take advantage of this, they do it on big ticket items, big purchases. We bought my dream car. You guys watched my vlog and saw that we bought my dream car Jeep in cash. So that year, which was last year's taxes, because we bought it in 2018, so in 2019, no, we bought it in 2017. 2017? I don't, I don't remember what year. I've had it for like a year. But last tax is that we were able to deduct our taxes, the sales tax on it. So I just took the sheet that we got from the dealership and we were able to deduct that. But if you are super diligent and save all of your receipts, I personally would do this in an Excel spreadsheet, you can deduct up to $5,000 worth of sales tax on your everyday purchases. So if you're buying different random things throughout the year, keep track of the sales tax and then you can deduct up to $5,000 worth of sales tax. That is huge. Guys, that is money on the table, money on the table five grand. The next is to rent out your home. So you guys know I love me some side hustles and this one is so cool. So you guys know Airbnb is awesome and Airbnb may be great if you're traveling or renting out your home for some side income. You can actually rent your home tax-free for up to 14 days per month. Guys, that's awesome. So whether you're doing it, if you have some extra rooms, you may be traveling and wanna rent out your home while you're not gonna be in it anyways. That's a great way to make money while you're out on vacation, travel hacking. So with Airbnb or many of those places, you can actually rent out your home tax-free up to 14 days per month. That is so cool. Now I'm not talking about rental properties, not talking about um, investment properties or anything like that. That's a whole other broad game. This is just renting out your personal like home that you're living in, which is so cool. Next is to write off last year's state taxes. So if you live in a state that you do have to pay state tax, I don't anymore. I used to live in Massachusetts and had to pay it. Now I live in Florida. There are a few states that we are exempt from state taxes, but you can write off last year's state taxes but you do have to report it in the taxes you paid section of Schedule A. Keep in mind that your state tax refund may be taxable on the next year's federal return that you file. So just keep that in mind, but that's really cool. Tax deduction of last year's taxes, you can deduct this year. Next, we're gonna keep the conversation with some more ways that you can save some money. I love saving money, as you guys know. So here's some money challenges that you can do that add up ridiculously. You can save thousands of dollars with the tips that I'm gonna give in this video. So I'll see you in that video. Hey, no, no, no.